Handling the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial announced the defense rested by default after Daryl Brooks Jr. charged with killing six people continued his outbursts while representing himself. I've asked you twice now and I'll ask you a third time, do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? Any additions, deletions, edits, or otherwise? Hey man, you, you don't gotta talk to me like that. That's as it not, relates to the jury instructions, sir, what are you? I heard what the hell you said, man. Yeah, I mean, Brooks sat hidden there, and when the judge asked if he wanted to testify, he gave no response, forfeiting his right to testify on his own behalf. Rachel Fizet is a criminal defense attorney joining us live. It's great to see you again, Rachel. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Thanks. So, Rachel, closing arguments expected to begin as soon as tomorrow. Could anything delay that at this point? I don't think so. The judge is really standing strong that this will begin, that this is her courtroom, and whether he's ready or not, and he has said, I'm not ready, I don't understand the jury instructions. In fact, he looks very deliberate in what he's saying he doesn't understand in trying to cause delay, and she is continuing to go forward, uh, commanding that the courtroom act, act in the way that she instructs it. And the back and forth, meanwhile, between Brooks and the judge is uh, something to behold. Let's take a quick listen to this. Because you, you are answer? not being respectful, you are disruptive, you are interrupting. I will give you one more opportunity. Don't interrupt me again. Don't roll your eyes at me. Don't sigh at me. Stop interrupting. We have to make a record of it. You've interrupted multiple times. I've been abundantly patient with clear. you. Again, another interruption. I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. So we're listening to all of this right now. Meanwhile, the jury has been listening to all of this. How do you think the jury will rule once the case is handed over? And how did Brooks' behavior during the trial impact the jury? It's almost a bit of a joke at this point. I have to believe that the jury can't actually believe what they are witnessing. This is so antithetical to what we think of an organized court proceeding. And so I think the jury, again, cannot be registering um, what he's actually defending, what's going on as far as the witnesses go, because they are now going to be so boggled down in process. Now, I think that since he did not really put on a case for himself such that it was coherent and understandable, the only thing the jury where this could weigh in his favor with the jury is that the jury may feel sorry for him or really believe he hasn't been able to put on a case because of an inability to do so. But I think he actually, at this point, still has to just be frustrating the jury, frustrating the judge, and they probably just want to move on to their deliberations and convict. And Rachel, to that end, I know the last time we spoke, there was a chance that he was so unruly that the judge would actually force appoint an attorney. Uh, does it seem like that's just not going to happen at this point? And is that frankly surprising to you in this case? What would have to happen is they would have to find that he was so incompetent at this point, because at the time that he made the waiver, it was knowing it was voluntary and it was intelligent, which is the standard for waiving an attorney. And the fact that she has that waiver, she's going to go forward. I think she looks like she is just trying to plow ahead and be done. And she is not going to veer off course to make any sort of delay or appoint an attorney, which at this point looks like what he's actually just trying to have her do. All right. We'll keep tracking this story, certainly, and we appreciate your help. Rachel Fizet, thank you. Thank you. Still to come on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.